Hi guys, it's Maha here. This morning I wanted to make a video about dealing with darkness. By the way, Chiki's right here joining me and if he becomes too disruptive, I might have to pause the video. He's, he needs a lot of attention from me. And I can't give my attention to anything. Not even YouTube. <laughs> so, I wanted to make a, a, a video about dealing with darkness and I wanted to read you a beautiful poem that helps me a lot when I'm going through feeling down. It happens a few times a month, naturally. And, and I wanted to read you the poem. It's from a book by beloved Rumi, my life teacher. And this book is translated by Coleman Barks. I'm going to show you the book from close up before I read you the poem. I might read you a couple of poems. So I wanted to start a series uh, and I started already. I made one video. It's called um, Dreams, Reflections and Tarot because I have a lot of dreams. I mean, I everyone does, but I remember my dreams every night and they're quite vivid and colorful. And a lot of times they relate to tarot because I'm studying tarot all the time. And I guess it's um, when I wonder things then I have dreams about them and it's just really cool. So I write them down sometimes when they're very amazing. I mean, they're always amazing, but when, when it's important because there's just too many dreams and I just can't record them all, but I've been thinking of making these videos and I started one and this video I'm making right now originally didn't really have any connection to dreams and tarot, but last night I had the most amazing <laughs> insight in my dream. And it does relate, now it does relate to tarot, so I'm going to include it in there. So I wanted to say about feeling just, just my own personal thoughts about when we feel down and depressed, um, a lot of times we think that we should go through life being happy. And a lot of times we might um, put, just look down or put down feelings of, sadness um, or anything else that's not happy but but um, what I come to realize is that by accepting and acknowledging our so-called negative feelings we come to a place where we understand that every moment comes with its own feelings and emotions and that what we become more in touch with ourselves and more aware to view life from a different perspective. Now my parrot's singing in the background. <laughs> so I, we, the poem will talk about that. I actually pinned this poem to my wall because I try to kind of read it over quickly every morning and, and remember that. Um, so there is a, a woman who's also one of my teachers and she's taught me a lot. Her name is Tara Brock. I'm going to include both her link and um, the description of this book in the description box. Tara Brock talks about um, radical acceptance, accepting every moment, every feeling as just feelings and observing them as passing, passing uh, emotions that... Uh, they are all temporary. Nothing is permanent. If we're feeling pain at a certain moment, pain comes and pain goes. And I like to also just give you this beautiful visual image that comes to me all the time. I love the lotus because it's, well, the lotus is represented in, in ancient cultures as the heart. And the unfolding of the lotus is when we, it's kind of a metaphor for seeking illumination and enlightenment. But I always think this also as well, that the lotus, we must remember, grows from mud. There is a, a famous Buddhist monk um, and an author, Thich Nhat Hanh, he says, no mud, no lotus. I think this is just so perfect. No mud, no lotus. So the lotus seed starts from the bottom of the pond. 
and it has to go through all the mud until it reaches the surface where it blooms and opens in the light. So without the mud, without the feelings of darkness, there would be no light. Without the sun, there would be no shadow. And the polarities we have of positive, negative emotions and all polarities of life, and this is how it relates to tarot, all polarities have within them a part of each other. So like without sadness, there would be no happiness. Without happiness, there would be no sadness. Male, female, you know, this is just life. And learning to view life, of course, in this angle is so challenging, but I think it's one of the greatest lessons for us. And my dream was that I dreamt that, um, it was just very quick, this insight came that, that tarot teaches us about polarities. And throughout tarot, especially in the ma major arcana, we have this theme of polarities that runs through tarot. And, and that polarities in life are there. And this is, this is what, I, what came to me in my dream, and that's how I'm tying it all together to tarot, is that there is polarities in life, and there is polarities in tarot. And the major arcana are like the major life lessons. So that's just, I don't want to take too long on this video. I want to get to reading, reading the poems for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the poem, look at the book more closely. Okay, so this is my book, The Essential Rumi, translated by Coleman Barks. And I've had this book forever. I find that this is, to me, one of the best translations of Rumi's poetry. I like the way it's organized. It has a lot of his poems. And they're kind of organized with, um, rather than being organized with um, his style of poetry, uh, they are more organized with subjects and themes. For example here, being wounded, communal practice, that's one of the titles. And then like, so he selected poetry that was kind of related to a theme. I put bookmarks here for the ones I want to read for you. So if you followed me along this far, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and read you the first one, which I have, what I was talking about that I've um, pinned to my wall. And then I'll read you another one. It's a longer one, so I'll eat just parts of it. Okay. So just sit back and relax, enjoy, and contemplate on Rumi's poetry, The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Cry out in your weakness. This is the next one. A dragon was pulling a bear into his terrible mouth. A courageous man went and rescued the bear. 
There are such helpers in the world who rush to save anyone who cries out. Like mercy itself, they run toward the screaming and they can't be bought off. If you were to ask one of those, why did you come so quickly? He or she would say, because I heard your helplessness. Where lowland is, that's where water goes. All medicine wants is pain to cure. And don't just ask for one mercy. Let them flood in. Let the sky open under your feet. Take the cotton out of your ears, the cotton of constellations, so you can hear the sphere music. Push the hair out of your eyes. Blow the phlegm from your nose and from your brain. Let the wind breeze through. Tear the binding from around the foot of your soul and let it race around the track in front of the crowd. Loosen the knot of greed so tight around your neck. Accept your new good luck. Give your, give your weakness to one who helps. Crying out loud and weeping are great resources. A nursing mother, all she does is wait to hear the child. Just a little beginning whimper and she's there. God created the child that is your wanting so that it may cry out so that milk might come. Cry out, don't be solid and silent with your pain. Lament and let the milk of loving flow into you. The hard rain and wind are always the cloud has our ways the cloud has to take care of us. Be patient. Respond to every call that excites your spirit. Ignore those that make you fearful and sad that degrade you back toward disease and death. Be patient. Respond to every call that excites your spirit. Thank you guys for listening and thank you for watching. Lots of love.